hey there everyone welcome back to lead coding so I hope everything is going fine till now in the playlist if there are any difficulties please let me know in the comment section and I will be more than happy to reply to you guys so we are solving the fifth question of the assignment the assignment was on binary search and let us see what the problem statement is actually um, you can read the problem statement I will just explain you what the problem is saying here so the problem is saying that we are given a function f the function f is given now it is going to take two arguments x and y okay and it will return a z so this function is hidden we don't know what this function is but this is a monotonically increasing function how is it a monotonically increasing function so basically um, f of x comma y this is, is smaller than f of x plus 1 comma y also this is smaller than f of x comma y plus 1 so if we increase the value of x or if we increase the value of y this function the value of this function after evaluation will be greater okay the monotonically increasing function means um, it should be like this or this so for if the value of x increases the value of y also increases but in this case we have two arguments x and y so it will be a 3d graph so um, how should I plot it maybe uh, like this so this is the x this is the y variable this is the y line this is the x line and this is z so as we increase now with the white color here yeah. as we increase uh, the value of x or the value of y the value of z will also increase so the value of z will also increase uh, even if we increase y or x the value of z will be increasing so this is the monotonically increasing function okay now we are given this function it is hidden now uh, we are given a z the value of z will be given to us now we have to tell all the pair of x comma y which are going to satisfy this z okay so the range of x and y is given as um, thousand so what can I do the first thing the most simple thing that I can do is I can start traversing our uh, x from 1 till 1000 and I will start reversing my y from 1 to 1000 so I will fix the value of x so let's say I fix the value of x as 1 then I will see uh, and try to reverse from y equal to 1 to 1000 then again I will fix the value of x as 2 then again I will try the combination of y from 1 to 1000 so it will be a kind of a double fall loop okay also uh, this is nothing but a uh, this is a class and this is the object of the class which is passed as a reference so I can use this object to access the function f this is nothing the problem statement is nothing you can just uh, read it and it is really simple it might seem to be large but it is really simple so um, how can we access the function we can access the function using this this thing dot f is going to um, give me access to the function and in that I can pass x and y so x comma y now I will have to uh, find this x and y so for int x is equal to what should be the range of x and y it is given here the ranges are from 1 to 1000 so x is equal to 1 x is smaller than or equal to 1000 and x plus plus again for int y is equal to 1 so here the value of x will be fixed and now I will start reversing y from y is equal to 1 y is, is smaller than or equal to 1000 and y plus plus okay now I will see which combination of X and Y fits for this particular function so the answer for this function if it is equal to Z if this is the case then this X and Y is my one of the answers so let me just create an answer here vector of vector of int answer this is the 2d vector or 2d matrix now how can and how can I insert into this matrix? So answer dot push back um, x comma y. So this these curly braces convert x and y into a vector, and then I'm pushing vector inside a vector. So then I can return the answer. Let me see if uh, this is giving me correct answer or not, because it might exceed the time limits. it is giving me correct answer but it is very slow uh, because the complexity of the solution is 
thousand into thousand into the complexity of this search function. Uh, maybe the, this function might be a constant time function, so it is ten raised to the power six. And the time complexity is ten raised to the power six because of these two for loops. So now I want to do something better than this. Okay. So as I know that uh, the function which is given to me is monotonically increasing function. So f of x comma y is monotonically increasing and in the for loop if I'm fixing the value of x so let us say I fix the value of x is 5 then there's only one y which is going to give me the uh, desired z okay there won't be more than one y why is it so because we already fixed x so f of x and y is equal to z z is also fixed now if I do if I get the answer for let us say y1 okay so if I got f of 5 comma y1 as z and again f of 5 comma y2 is again z so if I get these two values of y so this will contradict the fact that the function is monotonically increasing okay because these two y's are not equal that is why it is not going to return the same value of z so for the function to be monotonically increasing there will be only one y corresponding to one x so I have to search that y also as it is an increasing function is it a sorted function because it is a sorted function and increasing function I can use a binary search okay so I fixed the value of x so in the loop I was doing a linear search now instead of this linear search the linear search is from 1 to 1000 instead of doing this linear search I can do a binary search because I know that the uh, there's only one solution and I know the function is monotonically increasing so let me apply binary search here so for that I will have to keep two variables start and end so this is thousand and start should be one right this is thousand while start is smaller than equal to end int mid is equal to start plus end minus start divided by two um, if this is actually y so let me just take it y so if this y is equal to x then obviously this is the solution else if um, y to calculate it again and again so let me just keep uh, it as an um, variable x no let me just keep it as the uh, evaluation of the function right so output is equal to this this is the output so if output is equal to z then obviously I'm going to push back z and break out of this loop else if the output is greater than the desired z then in that case what I have to do is output is greater it means I need something smaller than this so if I need something smaller I will have to search on the left hand side so for that I will make and is equal to y minus 1 okay y is actually the mid here otherwise the third case third case is that my output is, is smaller than z so for that I will have to search on the right hand side and to go on the right hand side s is equal to mid plus 1 here again mid is y so m plus 1 y plus 1 finally I can return the answer let me just try to run this first and see if there are any compilation errors so I hope the code is visible to everyone yeah there are compilation errors mm -hmm. I hope uh, the code is visible because sometimes I get comments that the code is too small. Uh, this gave me correct answer for this case. Let me just submit this one. And it got accepted and it's much faster than the previous solution because we are using a binary search. So here initially we were doing a linear search for a value of x. We were doing a linear search on the value of y. For a particular value of x I was searching the value of y using a linear search but now for a particular value of x I'm using I'm searching the value of y using binary search which is much better than the linear search here so now the complexity becomes big of n maybe big of um, thousand thousand was the range of x multiplied by log of thousand this is the complexity now this is much better than uh, 10 raised to the power 6 I think 10 raised to the power 3 is uh, somewhere around 10 so now it is 10 raised to the power 4 earlier it was 10 raised to the power 6 so the complexity is less this time 
okay so this was the binary search solution for this and um, we have already solved a question which is which was sqrt for function to implement the sqrt function in that case we were uh, solving the equation using only one variable now we solve the equation using two variables